now about uh, this, this sex sexual uh, integrity. What do you mean by that? Because you have a wonderful video and I'll post a link from this video so that um, the viewers can see that. Um, but what do you mean uh, by sexual integrity? Sexual integrity is when we come back into the truth of where we are in our relationship with our sexuality. And when I talk I'm talking about a much bigger energetic than just having sex with somebody else. Mm -hmm. So our sexual energy is our connection to life force, to our creativity, to our passion. And when we shut it down or when we um, try and make it be a certain way, then we shut down our creativity, we shut down our passion, we shut down our life force. And I've really noticed this, especially in women, and women that are healers and women that are on a spiritual path, this has been, I've seen this over and over again. And I was, this was definitely true for me, which is why I started to step into it, was this feeling of if I'm a spiritual being or if I'm a healer in any way, I'm not supposed to have sexual energy. Um, I'm supposed to cut that off and just be spiritual and just be pure because there's so much baggage around sexuality. Mm -hmm. So even if our heads are going, well, I know sex is good and it's supposed to be okay and I'm supposed to be a free woman in the, in the 2000s, the truth for many of us is there's so much baggage and heaviness around sexuality of if I'm really a sexual woman, that means I'm gonna, people are going to see me as promiscuous or people are going to start hitting on me and I don't want that to happen, so I need to shut it down. So unweaving all of that is coming back into acceptance that we're sexual beings and that that sexual vitality, that sexual energy is hugely important for raise our own fire to help us get through obstacles, to help us be juicy women in the world, to help us be powerful. And that that's for us. We choose what we want to do with it. When we're actually fully in our sexual integrity, mm -hmm. And sexual integrity, is, it's really about being where you're at. Mm -hmm. So yes, we're moving towards healing, but integrity is acknowledging my sexual energy shut down. Right there, you're in integrity because you're telling yourself the truth. And then you can choose what you want to do with it. Yeah, because it so seems when, like a, a sexual energy is spiritual energy. So are you saying that by deciding to be pure, um, to fully live our spirituality, this is actually... Uh, not, not really the path or of, of sexual integrity. Or no, it's absolutely the path. Spiritual integrity. It's absolutely the path. So what I'm saying is that the spiritual and the sexual are the same. Mm -hmm. So the integrity is bringing them back together again. So letting go of any place we've separated and said spirituality means that I'm not sexual. And to investigate, to be willing to look. Because I've... I've seen this in myself. It's like, oh, I'm fine. I'm spiritual. And yes, I'm, I am connected to my sexual energy. But when I started going deeper with it, I realized, ooh, there's belief systems in there that say spirit and sex are separate when that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Just to, to be truthful with yourself about what your experience actually is. And is spirituality and sexuality the same or in alignment with you on all different levels. Hmm. But I yes. guess you can experience it since it's the same energy instead of um, giving that energy out, you could also bring it to a different, to another higher chakra. Yes, you can learn how to hold it. So you're, you're running it, but you're choosing where you want to put it. If that's into bringing more life force into your body or into an art project or into writing a book, or into breaking an old agreement. You can use your sexual energy in all these different manners, as well as connecting with other people, mm. you know, connecting with your beloved, connecting with sexual, in a sexual way with the people that you want to do that with, or with the person that you want to do that with. So it, can serve, so it can serve for a certain period of time to go through, you're saying it, it can actually help your spiritual evolution to do that for some time, but really being human beings, we're supposed to actually the sexual energy coming out and, and, and experiencing that with other human beings or with another human being is really where we can take our spirituality to the next level. 
our, yeah. We can do that within ourselves and with a partner. Okay. So, yes, yes. Okay, well, um, but ma many of us have learned that the only place that we can run sexual energy is if we're with that one special person. Mm. Which is beautiful, of course, yes, run the energy with that one special person, but also recognize it's your energy. And, and you get to use it how you want to in terms of your own creation, whatever that creation is. Mm. And then there's yeah. some blocks, though, there is some holding back, there is some, how can we heal those? By bringing our awareness, by being willing to see where am I dampening my sexuality, where am I afraid of my sexual energy, and bringing our compassion to ourselves and to slowly begin to go back and heal the past. So the places where we were sexual with someone that we, were, we didn't really want to be sexual with, for all the places we said yes when we really meant no, and the places where we said no when we really meant yes. So to go, come back into integrity with those places is to tell ourselves the truth. Wow, I really didn't want to be sexual with that person. And to forgive ourselves, to acknowledge it, to name it, and then to forgive ourselves, to have compassion, and to let our bodies know, I won't do that again. Hmm. And to also honor the places where we're... Energy, we actually have a lot more fire that we're not letting out. To, to name the places where we've done that and to start to cultivate, yeah, I've got a lot of fire. How do, what do I want to do with it? To forgive ourselves for the places we've squished and to, to then start to choose how we want to bring it forward. Again, this is really easy to talk about and mentally it's like, oh yeah, that's really easy. I'll just go back and heal. But emotionally, it can be very difficult and especially very challenging. When, especially when... Um you know, maybe you were in a situation where you were raped or abused or yes. touched in a way that you were not pleased. Sometimes it's small things that happen as a kid or yes. as an adolescent that we still carry with us and not really, you know, it kind of, it's still in the back background. So that's not sexual integrity, I guess, when it's still there. When we're, when it's unconscious and we're not aware of it, yeah, then it's not an integrity because it's running us. We're not, we're not choosing This old pattern or this old abuse is what's telling us how to be in the world, telling us you have to protect yourself or you have to stay shut down. To come back into integrity is to recognize, oh, that had an impact on me. How can I bring healing to that old pain? And again, connecting with the body to go in and to talk to, let's say you were abused as a child, to talk to that abuse is hey, I'm present now, and I'll stay with you. I know that you were scared at that time, and I'm not going to abandon you anymore. Because a lot of places where we go out of integrity with ourselves is where we abandon ourselves, energetically, emotionally, where we, it just feels like it's too much, and so we split. So going back to heal those splits, and just simply our presence with ourself is so healing. And again, easier said than done, but it's possible even when you have a lot of old emotion, a lot of terror, a lot of distaste, whatever the energy was that happened if you were in a difficult situation, it's possible to bring your love and compassion and show up for yourself. And when we show up, the emotions dissipate. When we really show up 100% and say, yes, I'm willing to stay here with this emotion, Yeah. The emotion will, will pass mm -hmm. when we bring our compassion to ourselves. Yeah, and what's, what's left is love. Yes, when we let go of the story and just be with the energy, the energy eventually, yeah, will turn back into love, which is its rightful source. Mm -hmm. It's simply gotten stagnated or blocked. And all it needs is, is a presence for that love to come back in again. And so what is the experience of... of, of Of, of this bonding, of this sexual bonding with another human being when you're fully in integrity. I guess you experience fully your spirit. Yes, absolutely. And you can work with a partner to connect at a much deeper, deeper level than the physical, to connect energetically. And when two people are conscious and they're coming together sexually, 
there's an incredible energy that's set up between them that, that begins to vibrate more and more and connects us, opens us, opens up places inside of us that we might not have access to and allows us then to connect to spirit on a very deep cellular energetic level. And we can also use our sexuality with ourselves and with a partner, it's easier with a partner, to, to bounce off and, and support each other in if we hit blocks internally or if there's a place where our heart is closed. Um, and we'll see places in our body where we have rigidity or we have tension. And it can be from anything. It might be stress from work. And by running sexual energy, and it's really great doing it with a partner, our partner can help us go, hey, what are you holding right there? Is, that, is your heart a little closed? Open. And can help us to bring the sexual energy into the places that need healing and open those areas to let more spirit in. So could you do that without the actual physical contact to human beings and meditation in front of each mm -hmm. other? Absolutely, yes. You can do beautiful partnering, partnering exercises with people, with friends, even with strangers if you're in a workshop, if you're being guided to connect sexual energy while you're just sitting across from someone and learn how to run it and just to bounce off of each other. And it's and you can even do it with a mirror. Mm. You can mm. even do it with yourself with a mirror in that way. Mm. Easier with a human being, but also works working with yourself as well to raise the sexual energy. Well, thank you very much, Heather Hatch. It was it was, it was a pleasure meeting you and uh, discovering all this. And I have a feeling this is not the last of our little interviews and videos. We can do many more. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much, Leela. Thank you for all the beautiful work you do and sharing. I really appreciate you. Thank Blessing. You.